Now that we have the assembly done, we're going to jump right into a presentation view, which is here. Go to create view, and then find that assembly file. Now this won't take long at all because we only have two parts. So just go and tweak components, you click on the top, you drag it up enough to where you can see there's two separate parts, and then we save this file. So I've already done this once. I'm just going to save over the top of my old one, Maze Presentation. And now I can jump into my drawing view. So a drawing is here. And I have to change that sheet size to A size paper. After that's on A size paper, I need to delete ANSI large and put in an A size title block instead. I'm going to put in my name. And this is going to be the maze bill of materials. Our base is going to start here. That'll be shaded. And we are also going to have for our base that assembly view. Let's put in a parts list. So go to annotate. Parts list is here. Uh, the document that we're looking for is going to be from Maze Assembly. And then if you double click on any of the text, we're going to remove description and add material. And this is being printed from PLA, which is a kind of plant-based plastic that's common to 3D printers. And we'll just scoot that in close so it looks a little nicer. Go to balloon. And we'll number the parts, part one, part two, so someone can see uh, what to expect for how many parts this would have. Okay, let's go and make a new sheet. And this time, we're going to use the base. If it only shows you the assembly, click the drop down and tell it all Inventor files. So here's my maze base. I want to see the actual maze, so I'm going to go there. And I'm also going to get a section view. So right up here with my views, I'm choosing section. I click on this view, find the midpoint, click above it, and go all the way down through it. Right click and hit continue. And then we can see the inside of that part. I'm going to move this so it doesn't cut into my title block. And I don't know that I need to have uh, every single line on this dimension. So instead I'm going to make a note that there's a grid and I'm going to label just the important stuff. So this is a typical dimension. That 0.08 goes all the way around. So does this. This is a 0.19 typical dimension, TYP. We are going to put in center marks for the holes. I'm going to use this as my datum. So even up here for the holes, just make sure that you tell that how big those are. If you go to precision and tolerance, it tells you what the actual value is and what it's displaying. So in this case, it wants to just show me two values unless I change this to three. So 0.285 is what it's supposed to be. This other one here, we're going to change that as well. That's supposed to be three after. I believe that one's right at two, but we'll check. It is not. And 
and then we should know the overall size of that part. Over here, because I have a section view, I can show a little more detail of what's going on in here. And I should probably show a whole note, whole and thread note, for one of these guys. And just note that, that is a typical as well. Um, the placement of the holes is not, well, it does follow a pattern, but it's going to be a little bit different. So I'll use, this as my datum down here. And you know what, let's put that on the other side. Last one. Okay. Um, really what I should have done with my section line, and I still can, is I'm just going to move that over. Oh, it's constrained to that midpoint. So I'm just going to delete the section. We'll delete the section, and instead... Let's go back here to section. I'm going to make sure that it passes through one of these points instead. So not only do I now have a section, but I can also see that hole definitely does cut all the way through. So there's a note here. That's a 0.1 diameter all the way through. And this also shows that it's cutting all the way through. Um, also hole diameter, I don't think it's... 0.1. So let's go to precision and tolerance there as well. And we're going to use three places after the decimal for that. It is 0.1. Okay. Good to know. 0 0.04. 0 0.1. 0 0.22. This is all kind of tough to see. This is a smaller part. This would probably benefit more from a detail view. So let's go to detail and see how that would work. I'm going to zoom in here. And let's make that 3 to 1. So here we have the inside wall there, and I will delete that from here. So it's a little easier to see. We should still have an isometric view. So I'll scoot this over, scoot this down. And let's go back to projected. We'll project that right up here. Make sure it's shaded. And then I can finish this off with my name here. That is the maze base. I'm also going to put in one more note. Say all maze walls and halls are on a 0 0.190 inch grid. Let's make that very apparent that it's a note. And that will finish out this video. We're going to finish the, the lid on the next video.